Oh, it's your own top. Now what do we do? Now what do we do, coach? Now what do we do against the champion? PTA? Oh my, Evelyn Yon? How can play? I go fleet with Celerity Flash Ghost. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to play like that. I need to pee. I need to pee. See, I see the ghost. I see the ghost. I see why it's good. But I need to be. Else I won't be able to live. Every move you made, I was watching you. If you are serious about improving and climbing to your desired league rank, you're in the right place. This year, I've worked on laying out two courses that will help you in all aspects to improve. One is about all the fundamentals for the laning phase, and the other one goes in-depth on tempo and the mid to late. I've been challenger for 7 years and I can guarantee you that this will massively speed up your process and reaching any goal that you have set in mind. Both courses have a preview video where you can see the style of the videos, so check those out before anything. You can also always join my Discord to check out some reviews. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright chat, it's a Kraken Slayer rush as per usual. It's not gonna be the easiest game to play. This is Vex, it's pretty annoying. This drop seems like, okay, he has D-Blade, so every poke I do is actually significant unto him. Shouldn't get hit by that. He's playing D-Blade though, that's interesting. He gets level 2 from one main here. He's doing a second wave crash, nothing I can do about that. The is oh, one of the strongest. Regular champions with little tempo, right? Here's W, I'm gonna dodge it. I'm gonna act as if I'm walking up and dodge the W, because that poke is really annoying. And use fleet on him. You guys didn't know if you use fleet on champions, it heals a lot more. I don't want to hit these means too much. Okay, he's pushing very fast, that's good. Then the wave keeps pushing into me. I want this way to push into me, right? I don't want it to push towards the Yon. With this pushing into me, he's also gonna set himself up to get ganked here by the Belvet that's batting into top. Wait, Belvet did enemy bot side into her top side. It's kinda crazy. I have no idea where Evelyn's at. She started blue off. I actually didn't verify. I'm a little tired. <gasps> 69 damage was enough, GG. I'm not mad. You guys are mad. I'm actually mildly upset, I'll be honest. I trade here because I'm level 4 into level 3, so I'll gladly take the trade. See, this guy keeps pushing the wave into me, which makes it really easy for me to play the game. What the Yon should do instead is make the wave push towards him, right? So here, if Yon doesn't hit the wave, the wave will push into him. However, he keeps contesting, right? He's pushing the wave like that. So I'm never really forced to walk up for assets. It makes the lane really easy for me to play here. Just farm even on my turret in the happy spot. She no, I got reset. I don't think I want Berserkers rushed. If I lose 1 million worth of EXP here, I won't get level 6. If I get all EXP, I'll actually get level 6 here. Yon will not get level 6 because he missed EXP somewhere here. I'm gonna get level 6 exactly from this wave, and he might not expect that. I know he's recalling here, I'm gonna cancel him. I'm dragging this back to the center. I'm gonna get level 6 from these two casters. And his bone play thing. Level timers. Every game like that, by the way. No way I just died like that to his level of timers. Nope. Oh, kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. I joked. Ah. Oh god, he one-shots me. Okay, there's no flash ult right now. This is the only scenario in which I'm gonna be vulnerable again, chat. So I got a hard push here. All right, these are the only scenarios. I'm gonna wait for my Q level 7. And now I can Q this. And one-shot everything. Oh, I actually don't. I need Noon Quiver, of course. He just loses, you know? Level 7 to level 6. That's the only reason I win. It's because I'm a level up. It's again the XP diff. <laughs> my own level champs see chat the thing is every level of timer is equivalent to around 600 gold worth of stats that's legit the only reason why i win oh no, okay, by the way Actually, this doesn't change my recall does it no it does that's why i just feel confident fighting there right so i have 600 more gold in my inventory above him there now we're in a really 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 good position i mean we're in a happy spot we're happy Oh, it's pretty well played by the Belvet though. That's really well played by the Belvet. Well played. I lose when he's in the happy spot. Enemy top laner forced to walk up for last hits. Je -je. He didn't take his form. There was no flesh ult, but Belvet or Evelyn rather could come here. Evelyn's both side. Guess I could have punished SpongeBob a little harder here. I'm learning to sidestep a little bit more while skiting. Right? Daryl sidestepping most of his shit and fighting at the same time. Probably the biggest guy I have to learn. Oh, what the hell? It's 
So now I just press E on his face, right? I almost griefed it. Oh, die. Nice, I get solo gold. Nice. Worth. I mean, I misplayed, but it ended up being a good thing. Oh, they're not happy with that. Uh, what's next? What's next up in the menu? She just gnashes right every time. <clears throat> she had no flash for 30, 10 seconds. I thought she had it already. My bad. I should have typed it. I had, a, I had a flash timer. I didn't use it. I hit the jinx on accident. The most well played combo, but like died by me and Alistar. We played it absolutely horrific. We couldn't have played it worse, yet it worked. Sometimes you have to be ugly in order to make it work. Sorry, you have to play ugly. Evelyn's probably coming for my ass. And it is what it is. Jinx Rocket, Jinx Rocket, Jinx Rocket. Where is it? She's coming. Oh, baby! Come on, let's go. Wits end? Oh, yeah, true. Wits end. We need Wits end. Can you stop demolishing my turret, please? I have to lane against these creatures. It's not the nicest for me, I guess. I don't have a flesh though. Chat, we're about to get level 11. I'm scared of beef! Okay, it was a good old time by me though. I just sustain with fleet. Look how much. 90. It's amazing. This guy's no flesh. Oh my days. There's a SpongeBob flank. Being flanked by Spongebob, man. How can play? That's a really early ult by the boy. I can't do more for you, boss. I'm gonna act as I'm recalling, but I'm actually acting. I'm an actor. A paid actor. GG. GG. It's massive. Negative third. I need more money! Thank you. More camps! I can maybe get half the turret as well. Setting myself up for success for later. It's like an investment. I don't know, it's hard to recall. It's a Herald we could play for. No, I haven't done Yon on rank 2 masses. We're probably doing that one fairly soon. Actually, maybe next champion. I'd be very interested in doing Yon. Oh, uh, this is an IE crit game. True, actually. This is an IE crit game. I forgot. This is an IE crit game. Farming this both side jungle camps kind of feels amazing. I know my jungler probably doesn't like it. Hmm. flushed. Probably not the old, but ever be too safe. I can do shit to her. Grump. This wave is bleeding side wave, it's pushing away from us. So I'm gonna quickly take this guy and then move the top. We already kited the top already, so I save a little bit of time. Never mind. Yeah, two waves, probably take these camps. I'm taking all Belvet's camps, and that is because I'm a pig. All right, chat, we're gonna go to the Infinity Edge build, where we basically one shot everybody. Wait for him to hit the turret. Ain't no way he's gonna go do that, right? He's actually that stupid. What? Please, 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 please. Defending a turret that's already died. Nice. I step backwards to kind of make her feel false sense of security. I think I recall go here. On the ult. If we kill, we get Nash. Jinx might face check me as well. She's gonna walk like this? She is. Bye. Probably clean scale game we played today. We're getting decent at the champion now. My team is really weak this game, by the way. We're three dragons down. I'm just a monster. I'm about to get level 16. And my Belva is doing pretty good for herself, but she's playing with me, right? Like, it, this game looks really easy, but my, I'm just really fat. You know, I haven't really made mistakes this game. What now? Love Thurster. Strider is good because they're so ranged, right? On, like, these champions. Oh. I suddenly got hit by something. My range is kind of ridiculous. SpongeBob! Goodbye, SpongeBob. 
Oh, what? That's on Gen 40. I have ult. I don't have to. Where's Eve? There she is. <laughs> I just spat in that guy's face. <laughs> you know what item I'm gonna go last? Rapid fire cannon. Rapid fire cannon last. Am I cooking or not? Let's let the master decide. Kill 1v9. Okay, let's spit in this guy's face. Let's spit in this guy's face too. I'm tanking everything. I can't multitask. Okay, just like I like actually can't look. I actually I actually can't do anything. Okay, like I actually can't do anything. Okay, like actually just don't look at me. It's like I I can do everything perfect. Ten one six, ten cents per minute. But then the second the streamer makes one mistake, it's like <laughs> bomb them zigs, bomb them ziggy boy, bomb the guy. You gotta bomb him more. I right, just kill them actually. I'm just gonna kill them all. Let's spin the speaker's faces. Give me my double buffs. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> well, that's what you can do as well, guys. I just actually right click. I just right click. The game kill, by the way. Bye. Mm, goodbye. This Infinity Edge build is pretty big. Oh. Goodbye, Internet. Okay. This Infinity Edge build is uh, pretty, pretty crazy against the squishies. No, they're FF. Boring. I wanted to dive them. Just. What's the benefit to your course that you can't get from just watching your videos on YouTube? I feel like there's already a lot that you can learn from just a video, so I'm just curious. Very good question. Uh, I would say it summarizes everything and it gives you the perfect examples and you start with like one thing and you expand from there. So with the course, you start by understanding jungle tracking and then from that jungle tracking, we balance that out with wave manipulation and then we talk about the early game crashes and you basically start with step one and you build from that. And you get perfect game examples that will make the concepts very clear. Because even though I'm talking about concepts during the game, right? It's never going to be as concise and clear. So that would be... Yeah.